Okay, so let's look at why aren't organisms perfect, right? Several reasons why organisms aren't perfect. So as I talk about evolution here, uh, there's this misconception that organisms become perfect for the environment. And that really doesn't actually play out. One of the things that can be bad for organisms is that environments can change quickly. So natural selection may move too slowly for a rapidly changing environment. And so most of the organisms that have lived on Earth have actually gone extinct because of this. And you know, in the order of 99.99999% of all organisms. I'm showing a, uh, a polar bear here because their environment is changing very rapidly due to climate change. Next, organisms are locked into historical constraints. Each organism has a descent, uh, as a legacy of descent with modification. They don't start from scratch, right? So evolution is going to modify that ancestral anatomy and adapts it to new situations. Once again, we don't start all over. An example here is this panda in what is known as the panda's thumb. Now a panda is a bear. And so like all bears, it has five digits facing forward. But what we see is this little structure right there, and that is what is known as a panda's thumb. And what it actually is, is a wrist bone. So what pandas do is they do exactly what this guy does. They knock down some bamboo, and they sit down, and they chew it, and they hold on to it. Now, pandas have to eat a lot of bamboo because there's not a lot of nutrients in this, all right? And so they grab onto that bamboo, like what we see there. And what that is, is a modified wrist bone. So this is showing a panda's hand. You can see five digits going forward. Here's our hand, four digits forward. There's our thumb. This is a modified wrist bone. And that is showing an example of how an organism is locked into his, his, its historical constraints. Why not just, if you're gonna make these guys from scratch, give them opposable thumbs. Next, adaptations are compromises. So they're trade-offs. So if you gain an advantage in one area, you can have a disadvantage in another area. Like these ducks, feet that are good for swimming can also be bad for walking. And that's why you see these guys waddle around, okay? Same with penguins. Next, not all evolution is adaptive. Chance is going to affect the genetic structure of a population, all right? So uh, natural disasters can affect this. Uh, the inability to find a mate, and that's why I'm showing Lonesome George here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, George died a, a few years ago. He was the last of his kind. So, uh, and you can lose some genes just by chance. Some rare phen uh, genotypes may not get to reproduce. Lastly, selection can only edit existing variations. Natural selection is going to favor the best variations from what is available. These may not be ideal traits, all right? I don't have to be the fastest if a bear comes out of the woods and chases our entire class. All I have to be is faster than the slowest person, and I'm gonna survive, and I'm gonna pass on those traits. And so this may lead to a situation where we have such things as, oh, I don't know, the inability to synthesize vitamin C, uh, or, you know, males having nipples, which are useless. Uh, or, you know, uh, let's get to something good. The dual function or ferrets, um, you know, which leads to a small portion of us dying every year. So, you know, here's our ferrets. That's where we eat through and breathe through. And, you know, if we get food going down the wrong direction, that can lodge up in there and uh, cause choking.